All right, hey guys, welcome back. This is <clears throat> part two of the SIG 522 trigger disassembly. Okay, now in the first video you heard my ramblings of uh, basically had all the parts disassembled and showed you what was coming out of it and what was involved in it, just so you know what you're kind of undertaking before you do start to do it. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to try to make this disassembly as painful as possible, okay? I already um, shortened it up, left my safety lever off, okay? It's held in there by a pin that the more you take it out and put it in, it's going to wear it out. So I'm going to leave mine out and not try not to wear it out here. Okay, so there's the pin we're dealing with. Another thing I left out was a spring for the sear and the trigger uh, assembly, and I'll show you how that goes back in on the dis the assembly part of this. So, now real quick, the first part we're going to be doing here again. I've already done it. Is taking off the left side safety lever, which is held in by that pin. The way that I did it was using a sixteenth inch punch, and Really, that's all that's uh, involved in that. It's real easy. It's taking the punch, putting it on top of the pin. And then again, I used to use a light five ounce tacking hammer. And okay, and you're just going to hammer down on it. That's pretty much so self explanatory. So once you have that pin out, your left side lever will come off and we'll set that aside. I actually put it in my parts cup just so I don't just so I don't lose anything here. Alright. Now the first part we're gonna be taking out is the safety lever. I'm gonna try to get that enough light there to show you. It is the safety lever right here. We'll be taking this out. Now that's held in place by an arm. There's an arm that goes all the way up to the hammer and keeps pressure on those indentations on your safety. When you take yours apart you'll see basically when you go from safe to fire there's that arm locks in on the indentations and allows you to uh, have a place that it locks into. Now I'm going to put the flash on real quick to kind of make that easier to see okay that arm right there that's the one we're talking about. That we're going to have to take pressure lift up on that to take pressure off of the safety arm here okay so, real quick, I'll show you how I did that. All I used was a flathead screwdriver, and again, I pried off of my uh, just the top part of the uh, lower here, and it did not really scratch it at all. It's you know plastic or polymer, but it didn't really hurt it. So all I had to do was just give a little pressure, just to take some of the pressure off of that, and then you could slide that out like that. Once you got it, just let it sit back down. And from this this point forward, you can just start pulling it out. So once you get to that point, you're gonna be able to pull it out a little bit. That'll snap forward, and you get to a certain point where it's gonna stop again. Now, the reason it's stopping is you have a spring that's on the trigger assembly here that has the arm that travels down and up underneath the safety. To right here is the uh, arm, the upper part of it. You're gonna to want to depress that. Once you depress that down you'll be able to pull the safety out the rest of the way. So, what we'll do is we will depress that and pull this out. And there that is. And there that arm is so you can see it better. You're just going to take, again I used a, uh, the, the end of my punch and depress that down until it clears the hole so you can pull the safety out. Now that that's out, the arm will even come out, so you can kind of tap this upside down, and there's the arm. Alright, so just set that aside until reassembly. Now from here on, it's pretty much so uh, smooth sailing. We'll be taking out the actual uh, trigger, trigger, uh, how, trigger assembly right now. And that comes out pretty easily. There's no uh, no tension on this pin anymore. Now that we've taken this arm out, this arm basically uh, kind of show you on the outside here. 
comes up from this pin right here and holds pressure up on the inside it'll be attached to that pin and it holds pressure up on this pin to keep you from taking it out so the safety does have to come out to take that pin out once that arm is out and set aside you just can take this pin and push it right out okay now that that pins out the whole trigger here is free so pushing up from the bottom we'll just push that up and take it out now again like I said you're gonna to want to take uh, some notes or some pictures to so you can note the proper orientation of the spring for here I'll show you on the video that's exactly how you're gonna want it to go back in alright that can fall off we'll keep it there now that we have this out something to keep in mind is that the sear and other parts here the two mechanisms that move in here are held in by this pin it also comes out to the right. Everything we're taking out comes out to the right of the gun. Okay, so you're going to want to leave this in unless you're planning on taking this out. Now, that spring that I had that I didn't put back in just to reassemble it quicker and disassemble it quicker for the video it goes inside here. And if you don't want to get involved in taking this apart, like I said in the first video, all you're going to have to do is just take a can of oil here and spray real, you know, spray all the gunk out of there and all the grime and all the dirt and grit you got in there. And then take either shop air or a you know, keyboard duster can and dust this and spray it out and spray all that oil and stuff out. Now, keeping it pretty dry. You can oil it a little bit, um, but the more oil you have in here, you're going to have... Um, issues with getting more collecting more dirt again so somewhat keep it somewhat dry but uh just do a little bit of light oiling, light oiling on it uh, what i usually do is take a q-tip in just get the major areas that uh are going to be contacting and rubbing all right so again i am going to do a, a third part where i actually disassemble this whole uh, trigger assembly here this part of the uh, trigger uh and I'm going to be polishing some of these parts that rub together, including this pin, because if you spin this pin, you'll, see, you'll feel that it's uh, real gritty, and that contributes to a lot of the grittiness you feel in the trigger pull. So for now, we'll leave that together. Okay, now all we have left in there is just that hammer and the springs, okay? So getting this out again is real, real easy. Now again, to note real quick, before you take any of this out, you're going to want to make sure your hammer is up up against the, the frame and up all the way. If the gun is cocked, you can take your lower off, depress this. When this is depressed, take your gun off of, uh, off of safe, put it on fire, and put your hand here to catch it and pull the trigger. And You don't want to allow it to slap real hard up there, okay, like that. I just did it for the video. You don't want to allow it just to snap up there, but you can um, just pull the trigger keeping your thumb there and catch it and take some of the uh, force off of it, alright? Now to get this out. Real easy too. The hardest part really is getting the safety, uh, safety lever and pin out and then um, getting that back in. That's the trickiest part. you got to kind of have three hands, but I'll show you kind of a trick that makes it easier. After that's out and all, and this arm's out, taking the pressure off the trigger pin and the hammer pin, everything else just kind of slides right out. Alright, so again, we're going to take this and we're going to push the pin out for the hammer. And once you get past this first hole, you're going to have to depress this part of the hammer down right here. Just to press it down to line the holes back up so that you can take this pin, okay, just to press it back down so it's lined up straight and then let me push from the bottom again and you'll be able to pull that straight out like that and then this the hammer and the spring comes right out and that's it right now you're fully disassembled all of your uh, trigger and hammer and safety are out to get that trigger out again you gotta have to have the uh, the safety out and then you can take your trigger out and then you can take the hammer out now you can stop right at the trigger if you don't want to take the hammer out you don't have to um, I did I wanted to clean it and I wanted to be able to clean in here real good so 
that's once you're at that step it's not really uh, much more to do to take it out but again putting it back in is a little tricky and I'll show you that in the uh, the reinstallation video the reinstall video um, basically you're gonna have a lot you know some, some spring tension to fight against but it's not not that bad so alright that's it that is exactly how you will disassemble the SIG 522 trigger and safety and hammer the whole assembly in here now all that you really got left is your uh, magazine catch and again like I said in the first video now that you have the hammer out of there this is a lot looser so just be careful of that to keep it in there you can kind of clean in there better now but it is a lot looser having nothing to hold it on the inside of the frame here alright that's it 